So we meet again. I'm so happy it's not hot today though. Like I don't have to turn on my electric fan right now. Planning what to do for the day just gives me some sort of direction of what to do, especially now. We're all basically self-study because of online classes. <sighs> Honestly, I'm only enrolled because I don't want to be delayed. So it feels like a lot. I'm not sure if I'm even going to finish all of these. Do my English readings and create a draft for the PubMed I'm assigned to for my internship because it's going to be posted on Thursday. So I really need to get to work on it. So yeah, those are the two major tasks today. The others are just like minor tasks. And also in the weekend, I prearranged my calendar and inputted new deadlines because my profs just keep posting on Moodle and Canvas. And yeah, I panicked a bit. That's why I just decided to fix my calendar, put all the deadlines for the next week, aka for this week, just so that I have some sort of direction before going into a new week. So before we continue, this video is sponsored by Gitmind. So just go on ahead and type gitmind.com on your web browser. If you guys didn't know, this is a totally free and online mind map maker. So I feel like this is so helpful, especially for us students when we're trying to summarize, outline, structure, or basically visualize our ideas. So we could use this when trying to understand this big concept we learned in class or arranging our ideas for our class papers, which I'm doing right now. Luckily, GitMind already has pre-made layouts you could choose from and super easy to customize. So if you're unsure with where to start your paper or outline, we can just place our ideas anywhere we want with the floating mode just by double-clicking the screen and then connect them later on. But if you already have a set outline, you can just go on ahead and edit the outline on the left side. And you can further customize by adding important links and even images, by the way, so cool! And you can go have fun and play around with the fonts, colors, shape, sizes, and etc. What's great is that we can also share our mind maps with anyone and even collaborate on it. And with the website's cloud storage, our works are automatically saved and stored, allowing us to see our past and current works. So once you're done, GitMind allows you to export it to different kinds of settings like PNG, JPEG, PDF, and etc. So yeah, here's my final outline for my paper. It's simple but easy to follow, so that's what mind maps are for. And yeah, thank you again GitMind for sponsoring today's video.
ちょっとすまん声をかけるタイミングが悪いはい二十代前半から仲間の誰だろうマチがパンナシっぽいことやってる<音声>
I'm done with it by the end of the day because I'm really tired of revisions because I've been looking at my laptop for the past two hours. <sighs> so tired. Honestly, I think during the meeting, I'm going to be working on the pub mat <laughs> while trying to listen in what people are saying in the meeting just so I don't waste any time just looking at the call. Because <laughs> most of the time, honestly, I'm just silent in the calls.